Today with the recent news of BNB and FTX and overall what's going on in the crypto market, the markets are down a lot. I wanted to make this video as fast as possible. So I hope you get a lot of value from this video. It took me a long time to put together. I've literally been working since the announcement happened. So we're gonna get started right out the gate with everything that you need to know about this possible acquisition and what might happen, why this might happen, why it might not happen. Make sure to like this video if you get value from it. It would really, really mean a lot to me and it would help me understand if you guys wanna see more videos like this when big news comes out. So the first thing I want to look at is we're going to look at the prices as you guys can see in the last 24 hours we've had a pretty big drop in Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Cardano, Dogecoin. Everything's pretty much down. If we took a look at Bitcoin's price you know it's down from 20.5 thousand all the way down it had a 17.6 so you know uh, pretty much three thousand dollars which it's tens of billions of dollars being shed off of Bitcoin's total market cap. Same thing for Ethereum, if you take a look at it, it's $1,500 uh, this morning and went down all the way down to about $1,200 in a matter of roughly about three hours time. And it was all because of this piece of news and that is FDX is fine. And this is where it all started, right? FTX was actually not fine at all, but Sam Bankman said it was fine and everything was going okay. And they are not going to go insolvent and they're not going to halt trading or the ability to withdraw funds, which is exactly what they did about 24 hours later. And then we saw this tweet. CZ at Binance said this afternoon, FTX asked for our help. There's a significant liquidity crunch to protect users. We signed a non-binding LOI intending to fully acquire FTX.com and help cover the liquidity crunch. Crunch. We will be conducting a full DD in the coming days. So what does this all mean? Well, it means that this article and what Sam Bankman said before was a complete and utter lie. And this is what he said on Twitter is that, hey, I'll, I have a few announcements to make. Things have come full circle and FTX comes first and last investors are the same. We have come to an agreement on a strategic transaction with Binance for FTX.com, pending DD, etc. So this is him saying, we messed up. I want a golden parachute. I made a lot of mistakes. Problem, 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 problem. Let's get out of this. And hopefully the strategic partnership works out for you guys and for us. And it's all good in the hood. Really, it's not. He also said our teams are working on clearing out the withdrawal backlog as is. This will clear out liquidity crunches. Essentially, Binance wants to look like the hero, which is good if they want to buy the company, which is seemingly what they said in this previous tweet from the CEO himself. So Sam, the CEO of FTX said, this is one of the main reasons we've asked Binance to come in. It may take a bit to settle. We apologize for that. But the important thing is the customers are protected, which they're not unless Binance actually does go through with this deal. And even then, Binance can face liquidity issues as well. They're not completely bulletproof either. He also said a huge thank you to CZ, Binance, and all of our supporters. This is a user-centric development that benefits the entire industry, which it doesn't. CZ has done and will continue to do an incredible job of building out the global crypto ecosystem and creating a freer economic world. Now, that might be true, that might not be true, we don't know, but at the end of the day, this is him saying, hey, without this partnership, we would be screwed. We would be like Voyager. And as you guys know, they've just been absolutely burning money. Uh, we're going to get into that in just a second, but I want to go through this thread real quick as well. Part five, he says, I know that there have been rumors in media of conflict between our two exchanges. However, Binance has shown time and again that they are committed to a more decentralized global economy while working to improve industry relations with regulators. We are in the best of hands. Pretty much saying, hey, you guys aren't going to be screwed. We are doing this for a strategic partnership. This is good for everybody, la di da di da But really, this is horrible, horrible, horrible for all parties involved, except for maybe Binance if they get a good deal out of it. But that's their goal. Their prerogative is to look like the good guy to come and save the day so that way the FTX users have somewhere to go after FTX falls apart. And the reason why they're falling apart, or a big reason, is because, like I said, is because they've been burning money since two years ago, right? Um, first, they have Team Solo Mid, which they bought, which is essentially just like a bunch of gamers playing games and, and promoting, um, you know, FTX. Then we have in August 2020, FTX acquired Blockfolio for $150 million. On September 26th of 2022, they also announced that they were the winner of the auction of the digital assets of the bankrupt crypto brokerage Voyager Digital that a lot of finance and investing gurus on YouTube were talking, get into Voyager. And that now those same YouTubers were saying, get into FTX. Anyway, uh, 
a uh, big problem there, but you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to comment anymore on that, but the deal is worth approximately 1.42 billion, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they're subject to approval. Then we also had in August, um, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation or FDIC published a cease and desist letter accusing FTX of making false and misleading representations about FDIC insurance, which they did. Then following the FTX president, Brett Harrison tweet, uh, implying otherwise. Anyway, following the letter, Harrison deleted the tweet and Bankman fried clarified in a tweet that FTX does not have FDIC insurance, which at this point is probably really bad to admit because now you know what they're going through, right? So anyway, you know, trying to buy Robin Hood and they also ended up buying a Super Bowl ad for 6.5 million for 30 second ad in the last Super Bowl. They were just burning money left and right, just awful, awful money burning to try to get customers. And this is what it turned into, which is that Binance is now you know, somewhat offering to buy FTX, at least their non-US operations to fix the liquidity crunch. Now, what are they actually buying? Well, they're gonna be buying uh, a little over 1 million users. As long as they all don't leave the platform before then, they also manage 385 billion annual crypto trading volume, which really means nothing because Binance is trying to do zero fees right now. So if the customers move over, they're actually gonna be um, not making a lot. Could be bad, could be good, but I really think that Binance is actually not after any of that. What they really want is to get a really nice bravo from the overall crypto community, right? Because they came in and rescued FTX during this crisis, which is like bonus points. Then they also might get a really, really nice deal as long as they can work things out on FTX's business, right? Pretty much paying pennies on the dollar for everything that FTX has built, which a lot of it I'm assuming is just debt. So we'll see how all that plays out. But this is what I think they might actually be after. So FTX, literally a few days back, announced that they became the first licensed crypto exchange in the UAE, a place where crypto wasn't really a thing. Now, FTX was the first licensed crypto exchange, meaning anyone in the United Arab Emirates can invest into crypto using FTX, which Binance couldn't do at all. But if they acquire FTX, well, now they can, right? So this will be very, very interesting to see if this is actually what Binance is truly, truly after. And if that's the case, you know, they might just ask for a super, super sweet deal. FTX doesn't care because really at the end of the day, this is just for Bankman to get a golden parachute and get out of the company and get out of this whole messy, sticky situation, which we might find out, you know, in a few months that he might get in some trouble for this or that, but we won't know until further investigations are done. But you let me know what you think. In the meantime, we'll be keeping our eye on the global cryptocurrency charts. Earlier this morning, we had a total market cap of around $1 trillion, and now we're sitting about $900 billion. So just from this news alone, we've pretty much shed about one-tenth of the entire cryptocurrency market cap just from the announcement of FTX and, you know, the liquidity worries. And personally, uh, you know, if I had any money in FTX, I'd probably get it out of there. I'd probably even get it out of Binance just to be really, really safe and put it in something like a cold storage wallet if you need need a link for that, let me know down in the comments and feel free to continue the conversation of what you think might happen. Personally, I don't know what's going to happen. We're just gonna have to kind of wait and see. I think that Binance will still offer them a deal. Maybe, maybe not as much as FTX is actually worth. I think it's definitely in their best interest to lowball them at this point and try to avoid any kind of liquidity risks on their own end. Because if Binance goes, that is a major, major catalyst for an increased decline in the overall crypto market cap. And we might see like a $10,000 or $12,000 Bitcoin. So anyway, I hope you guys got a lot of value from this video. I wanted to make this really quick, short, sweet. I want to get it out there for you guys as soon as possible. So I put everything on pause. I have another video I'm editing. I have a bunch of shorts I'm making. So in between that, I wanted to get this out there. So if you want to see more content like this, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.